Hi Capricorn, welcome to your next seven days uh, reading and I'm going to pull out uh, looks uh, and see what's coming on your way in the next seven days and uh, it, where you, uh, I will re I will pull out cards to check in what uh, what is your current energy, what crossing, what are the things you are releasing, embracing and uh, your recent uh, past and immediate future as well as what are the things uh, some other things that you need to know and uh, these are general readings may or may not resonate for all of you so do take only that resonance and you can leave the rest uh, behind and i'm going to close off with an oracle message uh, from the monology oracle deck and uh, that as an uh, as uh, as an uh, message uh, for uh, for you for the next seven days so let's see what's on your way okay so in your current position you have is the judgment where you are um you are you are in a position where you are working on uh, some things and you are receiving support in a very in a very um what to say in a very positive way and you are being it is a kind of an wake up call as well where uh, you are just lifting yourself up in order to uh, do things in a more bright way so uh, it is like uh, you are um, you are in a uh, in an environment where you are creating something and you are receiving some support uh, out of that so hmm. and uh, what's crossing you is the four of cups uh, where you are trying to see uh, whether whatever you are doing whether it will bring stability or not for which you are like um, a kind of a kind of sad uh, because you are not looking into the opportunity that is being offered to you so you are a bit of closed off so you that needs to that uh, that is where you will be paying more attention so that you can be open up and see what are the other support that is coming towards you what you are releasing is the queen of pentacles um, like uh, this is a card where where you are focusing on but you are release uh, but you are releasing uh, things that is obstructing your focus so you are you are um, like um, you are releasing all the distractions uh, that which is not helping you or guiding you or supporting you and uh, you just want to pay attention to things that is allowing you to be more uh, focused on certain things so you are releasing uh, things uh, uh, which is which is like uh, becoming an obstacle for you so you are trying to see what are the things that is has come as obstacles it could be like your own thoughts your own um, actions or your own uh, emotions and everything so you are looking at it and seeing that which is doesn't serve you well it to just look to let go of things what you are embracing is the two of pentacles like um, you are at one point you are like trying to balance up uh, things you could be there are too many work uh, too many areas that you are trying to see how you can well balance or you are leveling up and you are also in in the area of where you are getting some wisdom you can see this uh, this is a movement card where you are balancing up things and getting some wisdom and uh, this is what is helping you to uh, go and it could be some uh, some kind of partnership or some kind of relationship that you would like to see it happening in a very uh, practical and realistic way and that is where you are balancing um, balancing in your recent past you had is the three of swords um, it is it, this is a card of painful hurtful situations that you went through and uh, could be that uh, uh, that you have um, encountered uh, somebody else's thoughts and that has led you uh, led you some kind of heartbreak in your situation so you are just uh, trying to heal from uh, that situations and uh, in your uh, immediate future it is showing is the uh, nine of cups where things are following up in a very slow in a very slow uh, but kind of concrete motion and or somebody is coming to close towards you in a very slow space with of with full of hope and um full of hope and uh, with full of uh, emotion and uh, 
feelings everything towards you so it is it is like you just have to create that place uh, for uh, for things to open up for things to show up in a, a more uh, positive in a or in a vibrant way uh, what you need to know is the empress this is a card of more fertility and uh, like you are embracing everything you you are trying to take care of everything self love self care and it is like full of abundance and nurturing care compassion and birthing of uh, new ideas so this is a card where you have so much of things within you and that you you are uh, just birthing with with it in order to uh, bring it uh, bring it on the table in order to make it alive uh, so you are taking care of those situations uh, four of Swords. You are also resting and relaxing, and you are not um, you are not um, making yourself tensed or uh, like um, or making yourself manipulated what others are saying or not. So you are just in a restful and relaxed state where you are reju rejuvenating and recharging your energies once more back so that you can uh, come back into uh, into the situations and pay more attentions to everything that you would like to see it happening uh, seven of cups is there are um, there there will be a lot of opportunities on your way and you are um, seeing which one is best for you so that you can uh, work at it in a very uh, dynamic way and everything has some uh, gifts uh, wrapped into it so you are just choosing what is the best thing that you can take in order to in order to make those things in a um, make one like choose one particular things and work best out of it so you have so there will be a lot of opportunities coming your way and you just have to pay attention to choose the best one that will fit that will fit best in your situations uh, and uh, that will bring uh, um, that will uh, make things uh, balance into a uh, balance in such a way so that you can be content and satisfied to whatever uh, work that you are in or situations that you are uh, in so it is like uh, you are trying to see what is the best options for you so there will be multiple areas you will be choosing it the best one and will be working at uh, it so you are very careful about choosing your uh, best uh, making a best choice out of so many uh, options that you are opportunities that you have but yes there will be a lot of opportunities coming your way let's see what we receive as a message from the monology oracle deck and for the next seven days okay it's time to release negativity it's time to release negativity let me read out what it says okay uh, it says that uh, emote it's all better out than in it's time to move from living fearfully to living joyfully you are right to have your suspicions grudges are toxic let something go the end of an argument so there could be something that's on the way and uh, that will uh, come to an end and uh, if this is time for you that if you are if you are uh, like uh, harboring any kind of uh, any kind of negativity within yourself so this is the best time for you to release that because unless you release that you already have rest and relax and rejuvenate card so unless you rela uh, release that you will you will not be able to bounce back to your original energy that you already have in order to perform things in the best uh, way that you would like to see them happening uh, so that is all i have for you capricorn i hope this helped and thank you for watching and tuning in and see you in my next uh, see you next time bye